Tell me what you're making there, Mildred. I'm making a coin purse that's going to be lined inside and zipper, a zipper on the outside. It's going to be put like this and it's going to be a coin purse for one of my granddaughters. How long have you been crafty? Oh, a number of years. <laughs> a number of years, but uh, I guess I'd say the last six or seven years I've done a lot more than usual. I mean, that's when I really started doing it a lot. And it seems like you enjoy it. Oh, I do. I do, I do it from early morning till night at night. And I use a needle to do one bead at a time. I've lost two needles here lately, and they have to train a needle because they're not sharp. I've used a file to make them uh, so that they'll be sharp enough to go through the fabric. But I buy the fabric already designed, and then I just I bead the design. Because you don't want to sit, you don't want to lose the needle and sit on it. No. So you have nine granddaughters. I have I have three children. I have two daughters and a son, and we have, we had 12 grandchildren. We've lost four, mm. and I have 22 great-grandchildren. Wow. And so, and they're all very precious. What's your favorite part about being a grandma? Oh, it's loving the kids and being a part of their life. They're my, my pride and joy. And my children were the same. I loved them dearly. Are they still around here? You no, know, I have a daughter that lives in Income, Idaho, and a daughter that lives here in Idaho Falls. And my son lives in Mesa, Arizona. Okay. So you get to see at least your daughters often and your and those grandkids. I have grandchildren that live here in town, and nine great grandchildren that live here in town, and they, they come and see me and I love every time they visit. Tell me about some of the lessons you learned as a mom. I learned to just love my children and have fun with them and enjoy their part of life too. We've had some great experiences with our kids along the way and, and they've just were a joy. Yeah. Do you have any regrets? Oh, you always look back and say I could have done something better but nothing that I wouldn't change. I was married 65 years, and my husband passed away, and I missed him very much. We had a good life together. We had a great life. I was a, in a fabric business here in Idaho Falls for 35 years, and when the fabric uh, grew from Idaho Falls to Rexburg, to Blackfoot, to Pocatello, I mean to uh, Burley, and then Twin Falls and then Coeur d'Alene. And they were fun, fun years. Loved every minute of them. And my children worked in the store with me. They learned to work, and they, they're hard workers. You and said they, it was a fabric store? Mm -hmm. What was it called? Fashion Fabric in Idaho Falls, down on Park and 8. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So what was the secret to a 65-year marriage? Forget little things and enjoy the big things. Just be happy together for what you had yet. We did, did lots of things together. We, we built a cabin in Island Park together. We built, we had a motor home and we traveled together and just had some fun things together. We enjoyed our kids together. Just, just, just enjoyed every day. What do you want to be remembered for? Well, I hope I'm good enough to be remembered as a good person. That's what I would say the best, is if I was a good enough person to be remembered to be good. I can tell you're a good person. Oh, I don't know. And I just met you. <laughs> but I, I love people. I met some wonderful people along my trails in life. We've traveled a lot, met a lot of people from all over, and uh, I met some wonderful people and I hope that they'll always remember me as a friend. Well thanks for chatting with me. Well I enjoy chatting with you. <laughs>